there! This week we're going to be talking about Wake Online. My name is Steve, this is the QA Weekly, and for some of you, you already know I'm working on a smart home. I have a whole bunch of different devices and gadgets that work with my smart home that make my life easier. But one of the things that really made my life easier from a really young age, or younger age, are features that have to do with computers. One of the features that have to do with computers that I really like is the ability to turn on computers remotely without having to touch them. And this kind of feature allows you to do various things and has a lot of benefits. If you want to turn on Wake on LAN on your computer or laptops, you're going to have to keep a few things in mind. It works with Ethernet. It requires you to have Awakened by PCIe device enabled. If you have more than one Ethernet, Jack, you're gonna have to use the primary one and it should work. If it doesn't quite work, you're gonna to have to go into the user manual and see what else might be interfering with it. But technically, it should work. Because it's an old feature, a lot of routers also support Wake on LAN. However, don't worry. If your router doesn't actually have a Wake on LAN feature, it doesn't matter. You don't need to use your router to turn on your computer. What you can do is use an application. I'm on the iOS platform for that, so obviously I use an application called Wake on LAN. It's free, it's minimal, it does the job. You click on the device and you hit Awaken. You do have to set up each of your devices, but it's free, it's minimal, and it does the job. So, we know how to turn it on, and obviously it's gonna be in the user manual. We are aware that a router can do it, but so can an app, and they don't have to cost anything. What are the benefits of Wake Online? Well, Wake Online is extremely energy efficient because you only need to leave your computer in an S5 power state, which is off. It will actually work with the computer off because you are hardlined into your computer over your ethernet cable. Even if your phone is wireless, when it talks to the router, the router will ask the computer to turn itself on and you can do this over the internet remotely. The other reason why Wake Online is beneficial is for those who have mobility issues. It allows everybody to use the computer just as well as an able-bodied person. You can turn the computer on whether you're in a home or very far away, whether you have two functional hands or you need to use some sort of voice command or other de like device to help you turn it on. Having Wake Online has benefits for everyone. The next reason is for IT departments, especially in businesses. They're able to turn a computer on, do most of the updates, do all of the maintenance and then turn it back off, which means that they'll be able to turn on and off the computer without any issues. And this also leads us into the next thing, which has to do with it being environmentally friendly and cost efficient. Computers that can be awoken remotely are less expensive to leave on, have a lower carbon footprint, age the computer less by not requiring the computer to be on as much, don't have a whole lot of heat being generated by the device or the computer because the computer is off. So it's basically causing less heat, less power draw, less expense, as well as less wear and tear. So obviously there are quite a few great reasons why Wake on LAN is something that you should just do in your normal life. And if you are wondering why you have not started using Wake on LAN in your life, chances are is because you're just not aware of its existence. It's more of a very, very niche geek thing to do, but everybody can use it. And once it's set up, it just works. So. Like this episode if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, share with those you think benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or go to my website, tqaweekly.com, where you can see the show notes on this episode, past others, find other ways of subscribing, and of course, use the contact form and email me directly. And if you want to see me play video games, I play every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.